Our state and our country are dealing with a crisis. Opioid addiction is skyrocketing, and that is fueling crime rates and tearing apart families. When parents can't safely care for their children, often the state will step in. But then what? Well, I found a solution that increasingly now is in short supply. Can you do some dancing? Yeah. Little baby Jay is the fifth child Elizabeth Friedland has cared for in the last 14 months. I've had him for a month now. Um, there's really no telling how long I'll have him. She's 34, single, and works full time. And she surprised many when she signed up to foster children. I'm gonna get two toes. I thought she was crazy. I really didn't think she had a handle on what all was involved. Not only is Elizabeth learning to single parent, she's also learning what happens to children like baby Jay when a parent uses drugs. His family story is one that's very common. Lots of, of drug use and um, a cycle of addiction. And I think it's a testament to the power of addiction that even knowing that their child isn't with them, they, they can't break the cycle of addiction. Baby Jay, like thousands of other Indiana newborns, was born drug dependent. These children need a safe home. And right now, there are nearly twice as many children in the system as the number of foster homes available. The need is great. It is a crisis the Indiana Division of Children's Services is trying to manage, but says the gap is widening. There are a, a number of reasons, but I think the biggest one is no secret. Substance abuse is way up, especially opioids. Wide says the greatest need in Indiana right now matches the population areas, Marion, Allen, Vanderburg, and Lake Counties, but that every community is impacted. There we go, puppies. These kids just don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. Elizabeth says once she learned of the need, she decided to do something. It took her about four months to get qualified. You learn about what kinds of children you might have. You learn about the issues facing these children and their families so that you understand what they're going through. Um, you have to become CPR certified. You have to be over 21. You can be single, you can be married, you can be cohabitating, um, and no criminal past. Ever since Elizabeth got her license, her phone keeps ringing. Sometimes she's taken two children at once. Because you just you don't want to say no when you get those calls and because there is a shortage of foster parents. You don't know how long it's going to be until they find a placement for that child. An ideal placement for a child is a safe home with their siblings and in the very same community so they can continue with their schoolwork. But the situation is so dire, the state now is actively asking for help. So you're kind of going out to service groups, you're going out to churches, you're saying Absolutely. we have a need. I would say we have a great need for more foster homes. And again, we know who's your step up. Hey, Bubby. Hi. And when they do, a generation of Indiana's children, like baby Jay, have a better shot of reaching their potential. Oh, she works. The improvement in the child is just amazing to see. The weight gain, the um, mental abilities that he has done. Um, he's a happy baby. He's just a very happy, otherwise perfectly normal child. Well, I love them as hard as I can and every time a child leaves I sob and I cry my eyes out and it's awful but you know you did a good thing and that's what you signed up for. Oh, it does tear on her heart. And some people, they do try fostering because they want to explore adoption. But there are others like empty nesters, which is really a prime target for the state of Indiana. They would love empty nesters to sign up because they're experienced parents. They have the space and many times they have the time to give. So if you would like to explore or learn more about fostering in Indiana, head over to our website, wthr.com slash addicted.